MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Got lots of mold tools, Ben. Is that all you do here at Formaplex? No, mold tools, tooling is one part of our business. We also do components, aluminium machining, steel machining for Formula One industry. Basically, any components that require 3D form machining is you know, right up our street, really. And what's your relationship with Tagatech? Tagatech are our preferred tooling supplier, have been since 2002, so a long, long, long relationship. Uh, Tagatech supply consignment tooling to all of our sites. So we have a vending machine in all of our manufacturing facilities. Um, they've helped us develop tooling for various parts within the business, whether it's defence market, tooling division here. Uh, we've had a close relationship with their engineers in South Korea, helping to us to you know, difficult materials or different strategies. So it's been a yeah, good relationship. Client retention is number one for cutting tools. They don't want to do all the hard work and get in and then yeah. kick back out. So what would you put that down to? It's 15 years now and they've been here since the inception of the company. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, I think they've given us everything that we want. They, they work relatively closely with us. They give us a chance of uh, having new tooling before it goes on general release. So it, it's, whether we would get that from other tooling suppliers, we, we're not too sure. But that, for us, is if we can stay ahead of the competition by being given tooling that they're developing at the forefront six, eight months before it's general release, then, that gives us a huge advantage against our competition. And you, you've touched on vending machines already, but I understand all the tooling vended, it's here 24 seven for you to use as you wish. Yeah, correct, yeah. So we don't pay for any of the tooling until we take it. Keeps our costs down, keeps the monthly costs out. Uh, we've got everything from drills, screws, all the, all the accessories that go with the tooling, back ends, we've got the full work that's just on, on ready supply. It's reordered automatically at three o'clock every day and it arrives via DHL the next day. So it's, yeah, it's, we never ever run out. In the 15 years, Ben, there must be many cost savings achieved by Tagitech, but have you seen any recently? Yeah, we have, yeah. The Chase Feed tool that Tagitech has just recently launched, uh, that's for machining P20 tool steel that we use for our injection mold tools. Uh, that's completely changed the way in which we machine, really. We've got some new machinery, uh, low-end torque. Uh, it's just for a roughing process, small cutter, high feed, getting surface definition very quickly. Uh, the Typhoon also is a tool that they've recently launched. That is a spindle speed increaser that uses the frutal coolant pressure. So we've got 20 and 40 bar internal coolant pressure on some of our machines, and that can give us anywhere from 35 to 50,000 RPM for small diameter cutters. Okay, so for drilling small diameter holes or maybe finishing ribs with four nose end mills, yeah. it's gonna be a huge saving for yeah, you. Yeah, correct, yeah. Machining of ribs is our biggest strategy. Uh, that Predominantly, it was always manufacture electrode and spark, which is, we all know is fairly slow. Now we're able to go down to 0.6 and 0.8 diameter ball noses at 50,000 RPM. So getting good tool life, but also being able to machine real small, but very deep rib detail in our mold tools. And I noticed you've got a shrink machine as well from Take It Tech. Yeah, all, all our machining cells uh, has an individual heat shrink system on there, and we've recently acquired the bigger version. Uh, for doing really sort of the 20 and 25 mil diameter shrinks much quicker. Uh, all our tooling throughout all divisions of former Plex is shrink bit tooling. Uh, in mold tools it helps with the draft angles, the hydraulic you don't have the, the cumbersome head to, you know, or the cumbersome body sorry to get in there. It gives us uh, deeper, narrower pockets, it's just yeah perfect for us. In this chase feed, it's really motoring. What feed rate are we looking at? We're looking between five and ten meters. So depending on the application, it depends what the maximum feed rate we can achieve on the machine. And what material is it? It's uh, normally P20, sometimes D2, but it's the um, P20 is the common material we machine. This is a mold shop here, but what other materials can you machine with that high feed? It's only high feed application is for the the tool stills. We can also use it on stainless steel exotic materials, titanium, zinc canals, but in, in Formaplex, the main application is P20 for this cutter. 
and I presume we can interpolate, we can ramp. We can do everything with this cutter, we can machine pockets, internal, external, we can do uh, up to a 2mm per tooth, tooth loading with a maximum depth of cut of 2mm. And what sizes are currently available? At the moment, the preferred option here, they use the screwed version, which goes up to a 42mm. Uh, we would go up to 80mm, but former Plex have a strategy and this is the work we do together as a partnership. And John, former Plex and Tegatech, it's a great partnership, isn't it? It's been a great partnership over many years. And former Plex, as a customer, are always putting demands on us to uh, new improve ways to increase productivity and to cut production costs. In this, in this like, Tegatech as a company invests vast amounts of their turnover back into R&D. And 70% of what we do sell is less than five years old. It's been a privilege being given the opportunity by former Plex to move forward with them as one of the most high-tech and fastest moving growing companies in Europe. It's been a pleasure to deal with. And they've been here for 15 years now, Tegatech, working closely with former Plex. Are they going to be here in another 15 years? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's down to Tegatech and former Plex to work out, but all the time they deliver us good products, they listen to what we require as a business. Uh, and also, you know, the, the costing aspect of it is, is there, it's important in what we do. But as long as we maintain a, a good working relationship between the, the, the two parties, I can't see any reason why we'd look to change.